Hello everybody, welcome back to part 4 of this Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Before we begin, I just want to introduce you to our cast of characters once again. And uh, actually in particular, I want to have a little focus on Fart, which Nigel named, and Moppet. Um, I also want to say, uh, we did some off-screen training last time, we did it in the grass patch, and we also did it in Mount Moon. So you know what that means is we got to catch another Pokemon, which I did off-screen, because it was a Geodude. And I'm not sure I'm going to use it, I forgot to nickname it as well, so I'm going to stick with this party. So we've got a hardy natured Fart, great, and we have a lonely natured Moppet. So I've given quite a bit of training to Moppet, got it up three levels, I was allowed six in both, lo three in each location, so I've given three to Magikarp. Uh, and that's because I want to start building this thing up. It's nice, it's got an attack boosted nature, and a Gyarados is going to be very useful, and Fart's going to be very useful, provided they survive Mount Moon, which we should be very nervous about, because this is Mount Moon, guys, and, you know, Mount Moon claims Pokemon. It's what it does. You know it, you know I'm right. You know Mount Moon. It It is a claimer of Pokemon. Um... Bullet seed, that's interesting. This used to be water gun, of course. I still deal in uh, old money. The back seems really slow to to do anything. It's really weird. Oh, that's because I'm trying to find something that doesn't really... So I get Rock Tomb from Brock, not Bide. Well, Rock Tomb's kind of low accuracy. Bullet seed could be kind of useful, and I'm going to use it now if I can, but I can't. So there you go, that was an anticlimax of the century. Thought Rattata might have an outside shot of learning that, but I guess not. So, we'll fight this dude. Um, so we're going to go with Fart, who should be immune to poisoning. So I kind of want to just... I want to let Fart just go here and try and beat this Weedle on, its, on her own and get that experience. Because getting her to, like, Nidorina and then we can look at Nidoqueen. That's going to be fucking insane for a Nuzlocke. Like, that's going to really buff up the party really nicely. So, yeah, Fart's doing a good job here. Uh, anything you want to say, Fart? Great, taking after the name Nigel gave her there. I hate that Nigel, give me that name. I do not fart. All evidence to the contrary. I could leave Fart in here to beat the Kakuna, but it's, we, you know, we all have lives to lead. So, um, well, some of us play Pokemon on the internet, but... Others of you may have life's lead, and we don't have time for that kind of shit, so we'll just go to Butterfree and get that long-awaited level 12 for him. Still silent, gender-oriented, confused Butterfree, but never mind. He will sort himself out in this LP, I am sure. So there's no Moopstone there. Oh, damn it. So we've got a Geodude, which we're not allowed to fight anything in the wild. So, um, there you go. Found a Paralyzed Heal. I want a Moonstone, really. I know there's definitely one. I thought there was one over here, but maybe I am just dreaming. Uh, so here's a girl who's going to fight us with Clefairies, I think. Yes, a Clefairy. And yeah, I'm willing to let Fart go, maybe get that poisoning in. And I think the worst this Clefairy's going to do is really sing. And we can take one pound, so double slap. That is really, really close to being dead there. Wow, wow, I thought it would only have pounds. So there you go, guys. I told you Mount Moon could claim us, and it has almost claimed our fart there. Yeah, not good. Right, we did accidentally level up Nigel when we were training, because Nigel had to deal with, like, Geodudes when they came up for our weaker things, like Magikarp. So Nigel did level up, but we decided to cancel the evolution so you could see it on the next level. Or maybe level 18. I feel like 18 is a good level. Yes, 18's the age you can legally start drinking. Do you know the age I actually started drinking? No, Nigel, but I assume it was 18. Um, uh, well, it certainly had an 8 in it. When it was less than 18. Of course, in America, it's 21. I know. <laughs> Ludicrous. Fart gets to level 9, and we're plugging away. That's good. I like my fart, even though my fart doesn't like me. Right, I want to go heal up Fart. I'm going to switch from the top of the party just because I'm not going to fight Zubats, but what if a Zubat like, wants a fight and I can't escape? It could be a thing. And then it kills Fart, so... Yep, sorry. Brief interlude to the Pokemon Center. 
There's no laws in this Nuzlocke about how many times you can use the Pokemon Center. You can use them as much as you want. So um, that's what we're doing. We're just uh, we're limited to three levels per per like area. I'd say patch of grass, but it's not quite patch of grass. Uh, well, we got oh no, we can't fight this thing. So we'll just yeah, we'll just use Dingo for runaway the, for now. Another thing. Little bit annoying. Uh, we'll, we'll explore every nook and cranny of this place. Why not? Hi Zubat. Oh no, Paris. Hi Paris. Go away. So, onward. Ah, the 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 God Paris. I know I gave you a warm reception last time. But you can just go away now. All right. We got our first encounter with a rocket. We team rocket. A Pokemon and gangsters. We is. We strike fear with our strength. <laughs> looks like a monkey. He's got sort of a monkeyish pose, like a very simian sort of look there. What's going on? All right, Sandshrew, which I don't really want to let Dingo handle. Hey, I'm Dingo Jones. I can ah fuck it. We're well, going to Nigel. Just use a water gun. <laughs> yeah, go to me. I can handle things much better than old Dingo can. And get up to oh fuck! I gave Dingo a level up. Hey, <laughs> got you there, bastard. Right, so I don't know what he's switching into, so I'll stay in and just deal with it because we weren't going too fast. Critical hit water gun in your face. How do you like them apples? Oh, I forgot again. All right, I'll just stay in again. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm Nigel. I'll just get to level 17 because I can. You sure you don't want me to level up now? You sure you want to wait till 18? I'm sure. I think I want 18. All right. I blew it. I hope it went nowhere near me. All right, B, Nigel stopped evolving. <laughs> As if I ever evolved. I was born this way. A constant in time. A star piece, you say? That's cool. What's over here? Anything? Oh, oh, just a Zubat to ruin my day. Ruin my day. No, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want anything to bother me. No Zubats, no Zubats, no... Oh. Well, you did say no Zubats, and uh, we only got to Paris. Okay, I'm going to do a chant. No wild Pokemon. No. Well, how do you chant work out? Didn't work here very well, did it, Mike? No wild Pokemon. No wild Pokemon. No wild Pokemon. Ah, oh, damn it. Back again, ding. Ah, oh, fuck. Potion, that's always useful. What? Don't sneak up on me. I wonder if he says that even if he sees you. Magnemite, which of course now is a steel type. I've gotten used to thinking it's electric because I've played old games. And now it's steel again, which means I don't really want to be biting it. It means I don't really want to be doing anything here. Maybe I should stay in with Dingo after all. Dingo Jones on the job. Can take on this. Can take it. He got a critical hit. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Metal sound to me. I'm switching out Dingo on the off chance it's got Thundershock. Gonna go into four. Oh, you know what that means, mate. Oh. Right, we're confused and our special defense is low. I don't know if it has Thundershock yet. Butterfree is part flying, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really want to be doing anything there. We're going to fart. <laughs> Into fart we go. I hate that Nigel so much. Forgive me this time. Hide him. Hide the bastard. I'm fucking paralyzed. Almost dead. What the fuck are you doing? This is a real problem for us now. We are in a lot of trouble here. Chipping away at this thing. We're taking a shitload of damage from Thundershocks. I'm going to run out of switches. Nigel needs to come in here, but he, he, he can't just come in, like, on anything. He's got to get, like, a free switch, but I don't want to gamble and get the Thundershock, because that's going to be, well, bad, really. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Potion on Nigel. And now I'm going to try the switch to him and hope that it doesn't go for the Thundershock. Here goes nothing. Metal sound, and it misses. Perfect. Nigel should be able to see us out here. There we go. Whoa. That was a fucking close one. I told you, this thing could just... This, this place can get us. I'll stay in for this. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. It shouldn't have electric move anyway, but I've, I've got it if it does. I know I'm water type, but I'm the best thing you've got to take on electric moves. That's sadly the truth. The best thing we have to take on electric moves is a water type. And it's our main order type. And I've got to get out of here now. I've got to get back to the Pokemon Center. Like, 
there's no way I'm going to do the rest of Mount Moon with the party in this state. I have a feeling Mount Moon's going to become a two-parter. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's very annoying. Oh, this is very annoying as well. Should have brought some repels, really, but... Just get the fuck out of Mount Moon. Sorry about this, guys, but there's n I don't want to lose anything. I know it's fun when I lose stuff, but it will happen. There's no way with me at the helm we're going to get through this LP without losing anything. We but we are going to try our best to avoid it. So we really do need all the experience we can get, so we're going to go back down here. Hi, Mr. Man, who almost killed us all. Uh... I don't know who to train, who really needs it. I think it's going to become a priority to get Fart to level up, to get to Nidorina. Then we might be able to just rest a little bit easier. Rare Candy. I think I'll use that the moment Fart levels up again. The moment is very... She, she's very close to level 10. She learns quite quickly. I noticed that when I was training Magikarp and Fart when I was off screening. So she learns fast, that's good. So we'll go with her here. Go on, use Tackle. Get some Poison Point damage on. Come on. The moment Fart's just a little bit weak. There we go. Poison Point activated. Just need to get up in those levels. Get to level 14. And then we should be a little bit more secure in the team. Level 10. That's good. Metapod. We'll I am going to stay... If this is... Oh, this could be it. How te it's going to be very tedious to wait that out. So we go to Butterfree who always needs it. And uh, get the confusion going now. Poor Butterfree doesn't know who to love. This is a, this this quest that we are on to complete a Nuzlocke without losing anything, or just to complete a Nuzlocke. That's the quest we're on. The quest Butterfree's on is who is he gonna go home with at the end of it? Is he gonna meet his soulmate? What gender will they be? That's what we're on this for. That's what he's on this for. So, another item up here, which we will gladly take. Farts. I can't level up. I can't get the experience there. We're almost... See, look at that. From beating that Caterpie, we're almost at level 11. Oh, wait, there's a guy up there who is not normally in the original game. So, I definitely want to go see what he's about. Oh, my goodness me. I'm going to shoot something. It may even be you, audience member. I may shoot you. You're looking... You're excavate excavating fossils. Okay, so I don't know if that's going to be a thing in the future. Certainly I perhaps didn't explore this uh, game as fully as I did. Maybe that's a fame checker thing. I don't know. So we want to fight this person. She has an Oddish, I believe. Yep. And I think Fart should be relatively okay here. Absorb shouldn't do too much. It does three damage. Scratch isn't doing a great deal. We're not going to get any poison, but hopefully if, if she just keeps going for sweet scents, we'll be good. And we could always use a potion. I think I will. I definitely want Fart to get as many levels as she possibly can. Isn't that right, Fart? I want to get. I want it to be a level 11 Fart. All right, here we go. Should be able to do it now. There we go. So level 11, and can we get up to level 12? And well, we're pretty much close. So I'm going to stay in, and then I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go to Butterfree, and. My Confused Butterfree can use Confusion on this Bell Sprout, And it's not going to quite take it out, but the second one will. And we're safe from death, which is the main thing. And that should get Nidoran up another level. Fart goes to level 12, learns Double Kick, which is useful. And Butterfree is pretty close as well, so that's good. I'm going to use a Potion on Fart. And onwards we go. So we're just we're just pressing on. This is the fart part. We're going with fart here. And away from the Zubat. We'll go down here. Because we should. We're pulling a big job here. Don't you pull my big job. Alright, fart can stay in here. Just use scratch a little bit. Should do enough damage. It's very slow, this game. I, I, I don't like... I mean, speeding up in red and uh, silver versions, those Nuzlocke LPs, although no, I did blue version, that wasn't a, wasn't a Nuzlocke, but um, was it red I played? I think it was blue. Um, yeah, and that, the super speed cost me a lot of pokes in that probably, because I just abused it, but um, it's, 
it was also useful, and this super speed just doesn't seem quite as useful. It doesn't seem as fast. So that's annoying for this emulator, but there you go. And Fart is up to level 13. Fart's doing the work. Barely thought about that Ekans there, and it Fart just stayed in, did it. Got an Ether, which could prove useful. Got a TM th that contains Thief. What do you think, Nigel? Can we use Thief on anyone? Maybe, maybe. I uh, don't know. We, we, a lot of people can learn it. Fart can learn it. Dark type move. Uh, Dingo can. Uh, but they'll learn Bite, those two. Butterfree's pretty wasted on. I don't really think it's worth it right now. Fart would be the candidate I would give it to, but I don't think she particularly needs it either. Oh, dear. I thought there might be an item there. I'm sorry, I'm seeing items where there probably aren't any. I'm just gonna go. Keep it going. This guy's a rat out there, I hope. Or I don't really hope. Rat is can be pretty tricky, especially if they've got Hyperfang, which none of these guys seem to have. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in these double kick here. Oh, it will take quite a bit from the uh, the old tackle there, but <laughs> the old tackle sounds a bit dirty, does that? But uh, we're doing pretty well, so I'm gonna stay in on this guy. I'm gonna switch out now because that's doing seven damage, and I do not want to be critted. I will stay in and switch though. Oh wait, it's a Zubat. I'll still switch. I'll go into Butterfree and use the Confusion. Butterfree's just slowly getting uh, the levels up, just sort of helping everyone out a little bit. Just being a good team player. Unlike some people, Dingo Jones. Hey, I do plenty when you're training everybody up. When you're training everybody up, I'm always there to quick attack and pick up the bits and scraps. Dingo Jones doesn't comply and just gets on with their job. Yeah. Not much of a team player, that's all I'm saying. Try and learn Poison Paddle, which I will learn. Ordinarily, I perhaps wouldn't bother, but uh, I will. Don't know what to get rid of. String Shot's only 95% accurate. Yeah, fuck it, get rid of String Shot then. Learn some Poison Powder. Could come in handy uh, for those matches that just don't look like you're going to win by any other means than stalling them out. The hiker there, which... I think I'm actually gonna use another. I'm running low on the old potion stock, but I want to use it on Fart because then Fart can use double kick to get past his rock types. And there's a Moonstone, and we'll fight this dude and take on his stuff. So Geo dude should be able to take that on quite nicely with Fart. Is this a level up to Nidorina? I think it might be. So this is gonna be really good because we'll have like a Nidor Queen. I'm not fucking around on this LP. I, I am not, like, waiting until, like, Fart's grown a few more levels as a Nid Arena or giving him a run as a Nid Arena. I'm just going for it. Uh, can I have some levels, please? Because you're going to need a War Turtle very soon. Because, like, some guy has a Raticate coming up, and I'm just saying, Nid Queen or not, we might not be in a state to take on, like, some critical hitting Raticate. So, might want a War Turtle there. Alright, so this might well be a double evolution. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Nigel's trying to learn what? Bite. I'm trying to learn Bite, uh, which I will learn. I'll thank you to delete Bubble, please. All right, there you go, Nigel. You sure you didn't want to lose Withdraw? Nah, I like Withdraw. I like to Withdraw into my shell. Nigel's evolving. Boo Yakasha. Do, 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 do. I'm a Nigel. I'm British spy. I like to eat apple pie and I'm purple. Purple bitches. Alright, thank you Nigel. You have evolved into a war turtle. And... I'm gonna use... I don't, I don't, oh, Fart doesn't evolve level 14. Maybe it's 16, maybe it's 15. I thought it was soon. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe it changed. Maybe I'm just playing wrong. I don't know. Let me know if I, if if the history of Nidoran's evolution recycle. But we'll just. Okay. I'm gonna. How long am I been going? I've been going too long. But um, 19 minutes. Well, we're already a long part, so we're just gonna be a longer part. I'm afraid. We're just gonna get Mount Mount Moon done. Let's get my mouse off the screen. And where is this dude? There's an item up here. A revive. Well, that's the most useless item in Nuzlocke. I've said it before. Because you can't revive anything. So, I can't remember if this guy's the guy with Eraticate. And if he is, I definitely want to have Nigel at the fore. Hi. 
So is this the Raticate dude? Is this the dude? I don't know yet. There is a dude that ruins your dreams near. Don't I look fucking cool in purple? Critical hit water gun. Second time I've done that. But oom. And Santru. Well, this guy just doesn't know what he's fucking with, does he? And fucking Nigel. Have you for breakfast, mate? Easy as pie. Alright, so another Geodude. Not that I can do anything about it, because we don't fight the wild Pokemon. We just have three levels per area, as I keep saying. I think my throat's starting to go, so I think this is going to be the, my last part I'm going to record today. Then again, it might take me all of like seven hours to get to the end of this cave, because wild Pokemon... How long is that stretch? I swear that's longer than in the original game. Just endless cartoon backdrop. Right, hi Raticate Trainer. Hi Raticate Rocket. I know you If they've got rid of the Raticate guy, I am gonna be so pissed off because I was sort of like waiting for him. Alright, Zubat. Well, if you're not if they've got rid of the Raticate guy, then we'll just let Fart get some more experience. It's gonna take some time. But uh Hopefully not too much, but it's worth it. We need to give Fart all the experience she can get. We need to start concentrating on Magikarp a little bit as well. And be giving him it in the grass when it's easier to sort of juggle and the attacks aren't as strong off screen. But um, I think I need to start giving it to him anyway. And there you go. They've done away in this game with the Raticate Trainer. That, that sort of steals the soul of Mount Moon a little bit. That annoys me. Um, we'll lead with Fart and possibly switch into Dingo, because Dingo's getting left behind here. Oh my, it was one step. Literally one step. Okay, so this is the last fight of the cave. We've got a Grimer. It's sort of worth staying in here, because, like, we're immune to poison. But we're going to get disabled, so I'm going to switch. In fact, I'm going to go to Butterfree. I'm sorry, Dingo. I'll try and get you in a little bit later in the fight. But at the moment, it's not really working. Hitting you. We, oh, we're getting confusion disabled as well. Why don't you just disable my life? We are undisabled now. But Voltorb. Alright, Dingo. Dingo's done a lot of good stuff for us before. So it's important we have that faith in him. Damn right, you got a faith in me. I'm Dingo fucking jams. I'm not going to fight to a Voltorb. No fucking way. I can screech at me all at once, but I'm the one with a bite. He's only got the bark. Dingo bite. Fucking hell. Right, I'm going to stay in on this coughing. No, you're fucking not staying in the coughing. Well, your butterfree is pretty much dead, so I don't know what you intend to do. I'm going to go to four, actually. You're going to go to another Rattata? You're such a bitch. God. If it crits him, he'll die. You do realize he's going to die now. He's poisoned. You better have an antidote. I do have an antidote. Do not worry, Dingo. I'm going to go back to you now. Well, right, Dingo Jones, back on the job, ready to take this fucking muppet on. He's trying to poison me. Fucking doesn't work. Uh, th that one did, but I'm still going to fucking kill him. And you better have enough revives to go around, mate. Right, there we go. Dingo should get up to level 13, which is good. Nice. I learned Hyper Fang. That's excellent. And four gets level ten. My other red and a friend who I height. All right. So before I move, I'm gonna use these antidotes. Uh, r remind me. I know it's impossible for you to remind me, but remind me to get some health supplies in Cerulean. Why does it sometimes do the thing? Why does it do that sometimes but not others? Um, do I want the helix? I know dome's probably a little bit better, but yeah, I want the helix. So whatever. Sometimes I'm in the Kaboot Tops mood, sometimes I'm in Almost Star mood, but I'm probably not going to use either of them because it's probably going to come a little bit too late for me. Another item, an, an antidote. This game just get. This game is like so Nuzlocke friendly now. They get rid of Raticate, and after a guy uses poison attacks, they put in an antidote. Really, really Nuzlocke friendly. Oh, I can't fight it, damn it. Could have got far up to 15 there. We have made it out of Mount Moon. Um, well, we'll be going on. There is there's this up here, which is not to train a fight. This is going to be I can teach you a move. Mega Kick. Or Mega Punch. 
I don't know which one to... You can only have one, can't you? Alright, what what can learn Mega Kick? Nigel can. Do you want to learn Mega Kick? Not really. Do you want to learn Mega Punch? Alright, I'll learn Mega Punch. Get rid of Tackle. Let's have a look at it. Let's actually have a look. 85. No. Oh, bollocks. Oh, sorry. Right, I, now I want to learn Mega Kick. I want us to look at the accuracy levels on these attacks. Uh, I thought that was 75. Is there such a difference, though? As I don't really care about either of these moves, I'm giving Nigel both of them. Accuracy is too low for a Nuzlocke, but there you go. So there you go, just uh, training up that, that lot. Uh, there's probably some hidden items around here, but fuck it. Can't really be arsed. Spent a long time doing that. TMO5 Raw, there's a person up there. And we will go... When you come back, I will have done three levels in that patch of grass, but the first thing I'm going to do is get to a Pokemon Center and heal us the fuck up. Alright, thanks for staying with me through this marathon part. If you have, um, it's very much appreciated you watching. I hope you're enjoying this uh, LP. So I'm going to save the game here so I am reminded the next thing I have to do is get three levels for my guys in that little thing there. So, who am I going to give them to? Probably Fart, so she can be a Nidorina, then we can evolve. Moppet is certainly going to take them. Maybe one for Dingo Jones, I'm not sure. We will see. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, fare thee well.